Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Wow. 1,000 subscribers in a short period of time, and it just keeps growing every day. Yep, and thank you so much, guys. We can't thank you enough. It means a lot to us that you're watching our videos, and we're going to continue to bring more value and help in any way that we can. Yep. Today's video is about age gap. It's about that age difference between the Filipinas and their foreign partner. partner. And there's a lot of talk of this specific topic all over the internet. We get questions from our followers on Facebook all the time about, you know, is, is age gap okay? Um, this guy's this old, I'm this old, is it going to work? I'm kind of reminded of that message that we got from one of our followers yeah, on Facebook. On Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, it was about, uh, I think it was a airline pilot and he was 50 years. They have 50 years age gap. Yeah. And then she, she was asking like, if, if this is normal and like, do I really have to think about what people will think about me because I really love him and I really care for him. So what should I do? We're definitely pro age gap. Mm -hmm. However, and a big however, there is a lot of good and bad when it comes to age gap. And we're here to say that whether there's a 20 year age gap, a 30 year age gap, a 40 year age gap, even a 50 year age gap, the age gap doesn't matter as much as the four things that we are actually going to discuss in this video. As we said, we are certainly supporters of relationships that do have an age gap. We're evidence of a relationship with an age gap that really works very well. Yep. But it didn't happen by accident. There's four things that we really did think about before we really entered that relationship to make sure it was gonna work. And that first thing is life path. It's the direction that we both wanted to take our lives. And it's not just about you know kids and family and, and how many kids that you might wanna have in the future. It's about your goals and your aspirations, the things that you want to accomplish in life. Yeah. You know, and really think about this. Your you know, dreams. if that man that's an airline pilot, say mm -hmm. he wants to retire next year, and his goals and dreams are to be kind of a homebody. You know, he likes to stay at home. He doesn't really want to travel anymore because he's been traveling his whole life. Maybe he just wants to settle down now. That's so And sad. kind of retire. No, but there's a lot of people that are like that. I know, Some yeah. people just want to just chill and relax, especially as you get older. Mm -hmm. So if you take that guy that's that airline pilot that's been traveling his whole life and now he just can't wait to retire and just settle down and he doesn't want to really travel anymore, but then he gets with a woman that's 25 years old that wants to do nothing but travel and she thinks to herself, well, he's a pilot, so we could travel all over the world, mm -hmm. right? Right. Is that going to be a conflict? I would think so. It will so, be. In that kind of scenario, age gap would definitely be a problem because he's at a different phase of his life. So the most important thing when you're thinking about an age gap relationship is that life path. It's can you integrate your lives together so that you're both fulfilled, so that you're both getting what you want out of the relationship. Yeah. You have to be on a, either a similar life path or be willing to compromise your life path because you love that person so much. So men, when you're marrying a 20 some year old Filipina, it can bring magnificent things into your life. But we have to be willing to adjust what our ideal life plan may be. It's not just about us, it's about them as well. Yes. Number two is all about what? Expectations. But what do we mean about expectations? Like how to be and how to act in a certain way. Yeah, it's all about, you know, how a man is going to expect a woman to act and behave and how a woman is going to expect a man to behave. Mm -hmm. And that view is very different when you have a big age gap because a woman that's in her 20s is going to be expected to act very differently than a woman in their 50s, right? So if you're a man and you're 60 or 70 or 50 or whatever your age may be, you can't expect the 22 or 25 year old to just act like they're 50, 60 or 70 or even 40, right? You, they have to live their own lives. They have to be who they are. I allow her to be herself, right? Yeah, I push her. Part. Yeah, I mean, I push her to get out and, and 
to get with younger people, right? I'm not gonna force her to just hang out with friends that are my age, right? I really wanna get with groups of people. I'm okay hanging out with 25 year olds if that's what it means, right? He acts like 25 year old guy. So yeah, and my mindset is that of a 25 or 30 year old. I, I have a very young mindset, you know, I'm mature, but I have a young mindset, I'm very young at heart. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about expectations. Where you get in trouble is if you've got an older man that's really kind of set in his ways. And I think you know what I mean, guys. You know, as a man grows older, sometimes they can kind of get set in their ways. It's my way or the highway, right? <laughs> and unfortunately, guys, if you marry a Filipino woman, you kind of have to throw that out the window, right? The, the whole it's my way or the highway um, doesn't necessarily mean a good, successful relationship. And any woman that is okay with just, it's my way or the highway, you gotta really question a lot of other things too, okay? Because no woman is gonna be fulfilled and really happy in a marriage if they just have to abide and live by a man's rules the way he wants it yeah. all the time, right? Mm -hmm. It's just not how a relationship works. So that brings us to number three, and that is sexual compatibility. Yes, this is a real thing. And you do need to consider this. Sexual compatibility is huge, don't you agree? I agree, 100%. And depending on what age we are in our life, you know, as we get older, our hormones change, everything changes, right? So you got a 22, 23 year old woman, um, they're going through a pretty, you know, harmonious time in their life, okay? Lots of hormones are flowing, right? Their drive is probably gonna be a little bit up, right? And then if you have a guy that's kind of on the decline and doesn't do anything medically to, to correct that, that can cause some problems. It just can, right? And I don't care what anybody here says. There has to be intimacy in a relationship. There yeah. has to be physical attraction in a relationship. And I remember that girl who messaged us in their Facebook, um, she said um, they are dating for a year but they never had intimacy because the, the guy doesn't want to have sex anymore and it's like she's having a hard time for that because she's like 20, in her 20s and she's having a hard time with being intimate with that guy, so. I want you to think about something else. When you are fully integrated together, everyday life, it changes big time, right? Right. Big time. I guarantee anybody would say the same thing. It's very different being integrated fully and living with each other 100% of the time than just when you're on your long distance relationship and you're going and visiting on vacation. Yeah. Okay, that's not a true sign of how things are going to be. Mm -hmm. So you really need to think about what life is gonna be like when you are fully integrated together. And why sexual compatibility is important is when you have those differences, which they're gonna come up, intimacy, sex, it's what brings you closer together again. So if you don't have that compatibility, then you're missing one thing that's gonna help bring you closer together when you do have all those fights and all those disagreements that you're just gonna have. You're gonna have cultural differences. There's gonna be things that you're gonna fight about. It happens in every marriage on the planet. Yep. Okay, and any psychologist that I've ever spoken to, the one thing that they've always said is, you need intimacy. You need, even if you don't want to have sex with that person, you need, to, you need to get that intimacy back. You need to make sure that you have that intimacy. That closeness is what will help you repair a damaged bond or keep a good bond good, right? Right. Now the fourth thing really is connected to all of them and that's patience and understanding. And um, I gotta say this, Angelica is a master of patience and understanding. However, if she was very impatient and I was very impatient, that age gap relationship is not gonna work. No. It's no. just not, because we're gonna be fighting like cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like oil and vinegar. Mm -hmm. She's gonna wanna do her thing, I'm gonna wanna do my thing. Nobody's gonna understand each other, and yeah. it's just gonna be hell on earth, okay? <laughs> well, it's really not easy. It's not easy to, to learn patience and understanding in a short time. It really takes time to learn patience and understanding, especially when you are living together already. So on the topic of age gap, and if it's gonna be good or bad, or if somebody should pursue a relationship with a man that's twice their age, here, there's your answer. We just discussed it in those four simple steps. Only you know the answer. You have to ask yourself those questions. Life path, expectations, sexual compatibility, and patience and understanding. Those are the foundation of having 
the successful relationship if you have an age gap. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, not just a successful relationship, a truly fulfilling one. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. And leave us a comment and tell us what you think about this video. And more importantly, when you leave those comments, we would love to hear from other people that have experienced success mm -hmm. in those age gap relationships. Yeah. Until next time, keep it real. <laughs>